hello guys welcome to solving solutions on brown channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice to have a new class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to look at how to extract some of these um land use land cover classes from this lulc data right good now each of these um values represents different classes as you can see uh, under the class definition we have one that represents water the value one represents water two represents trees four represents um, flooded vegetation and the rest of that right good now um in our extraction today we are going to look at class value one then we're also going to look at um, class value seven right good so we are looking at water body and then the built area so we are going to use the raster calculator tool to extract what those classes now we have done similar stuff using qgis we are however using them um, agis on today's tutorial so um this is a note or let's say a guide we are using so we are under the classes extraction and then as we said earlier we are using what actors so let us copy this expression which we are going to use in the raster calculator tool on actors so to assess that you can rightly search or under the act toolbox you come to special analyst tools then from special analyst tool you come to the map algebra right good then you have your raster calculator somewhere there so um it's from this um raster calculator we are going to paste the expression that we have copied this is where the expression builder is now what does this um, com means it's actually a conditional statement right good that if the raster we have which is um rivtif now one thing to also note is that um should i call it um the expression builder is sensitive in that if you have riv.tif as the layer or the variable layer and then in your expression you only stopped at riv you are going to encounter some error right good so ensure that the name of the layer or the variable is as it is on the expression right good it's very very crucial so um we have the conditional statement that goes to us that um we are going to select for we are going to search from this our LULC data where the raster value is equal to 7 and then whatever raster value that is equal to 7 will be assigned what a cell value 1 or a pixel value 1 then the others will be assigned what 0 so that's just um, a simple explanation of this expression right good so this is actually what um, a conditional statement so let's see how the okay the for the output raster let's browse okay so we have done the folder connection we are putting that into that folder called raster and then let's call this um class 7 should be built area right good so we click on save so every other parameter is um, okay so we click on okay now good so we have um, a result and then the result rightly has um, two two values right good we have the zeros and the ones now the zero represent every other value then the one represents what the built up area so we can still we can still change the symbology let's make this a bit green sorry let's make this green or something and then let's make this red right let's make this red good so we have our first result that has extracted what the built area from our composite land use land cover data right good now the second result is going to um, extract both the built area and the water body which is um, um, class value 7 and class value 1 right good and then it will be assigned to a single cell right good so we're having two values that will be assigned to a single cell so we still open up the raster calculator then from our note we come to the second expression which is this still a conditional statement or a conditional expression we can rightly copy it and then we paste right good so what does it do it searches the land is land cover data for where we have um, values of seven which is um, the built area and value of one right good so if it is true if it finds any 
it assigns it a value of one and then every other value because we have about maybe one to 10 or 11 right so we have about 10 to 11 classes so every other class will be assigned with a value of zero right good so let's do browse so we call this um build area and um underscore water right okay the the text is too long let's use build area underscore what which represents water right good so we click on okay good so the second result is out where we have the build area and the water body in what one cell value right good so we can do well to put out the first one we have the second one to be the built and water body we can change this to let's still use let's say we are using um let's use ginger pink and then we are going to leave the rest as what green right good so if you look closely we have additional classes added to the first one which was just the build area so if we try to just oppose by putting off the, the second one and leaving just the first one you are going to see we have only built area however when we put on the second one we have more information which now shows what the water body right good the outlines for the water body which means we have these two classes in one cell right good now we can still do well by separating these two classes that is the built area and the water body into two separate classes right good so that will be the um the last part of today's tutorial we still come back to the raster calculator then from our guide we have um, this expression to use copy and then we paste right good so what does it mean we still have what um, a conditional statement that um, searches through the land is land cover data and then it searches for class 7 which is um, the built area and then assigns it what um, pixel value 1 then still does same thing for class value one and then assigns it what two right good then every other class in our land use land cover data is assigned what zero right good so so we have a um, build area underscore water body underscore two right good so let's use um, this to define our last output right good so we click on save then we click on ok good so we have the last output here where we are having three classes one which represents every other value which is um, zero so we can just make this let's say green and then one which represents what built area let's make it red and then finally two which represents the water body let's make it blue right something like this good so this last output has extracted built area and water body and then we have every other land use land cover class assigned what the cell value zero right good so you can see the water outline and then you can also see what the built area outline so we have shown you exhaustively in um, agis how to use the raster calculator to extract your choice land use land cover class right good or classes as the case may be and then um, maybe assigning zero or maybe no data value to the rest right good so thanks for coming to class we hope to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye